let's talk insider trading. And no, I don't mean, you know, the illegal sense. I mean, what happens when executives of listed companies buy or sell their shares and how you can view this activity. So if you go onto the NASDAQ.com site or just Google NASDAQ insider activity, you can view what the executives at all of these companies are doing. And the most important ones naturally are going to be the Magnificent Seven, purely because they're the largest. They move the market around the most. So just recently, the uh, general counsel of Apple had sold their shares in, in Apple, basically, the full amount. So I'm just trying to find the exact uh, listing here. So uh, Catherine Adams dumped her entire Apple stake for a total value of 23.3 million. And this was on the 16th. So I don't even think this has come up yet. No, it's not. It's not even there yet. So she's dumped her entire stake, the, the lawyer of Apple, which, <clears throat> you know, it might just be her wanting to leave, might just be, uh, it could even be just a scheduled sell, but a scheduled sell at that amount is a, a bit too much. So the trading takeout from today is effectively, you can see when the executives are being positive or negative about their company. And when you see a full sale of shares, I would be kind of a little bit critical as to where the overall market is going, especially when it's a company the size of Apple that is doing it. When you then take into account the previous bits of information we've spoken about today, corporate buybacks being exceptionally low, and Goldman suggesting that over the next week, equities are going to be sold off, then you can start putting a bit of a sentiment cloud, a brainstorm together.